everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have another Lego Harry Potter video, obviously. Um, this one is of the first ever Lego Harry Potter advent calendar. So that's pretty exciting. Um, it was $32 at Walmart and I found this way earlier than I am posting the video. I found this and I'm recording this in September, but it probably won't go up till closer to December. We'll see, could be October. Um, that being said, I was really excited for this set. I really have been into the new Harry Potter Legos that they've been doing, so I was really eager to get some of the Advent Calendar exclusive minifigures because they're actually pretty good. Um, and so what you're looking at right now is the box. It is ages seven plus, set 75964 with 305 pieces. And there are obviously with an Advent Calendar, 24 gifts. So um, December 1st through the 24th, in the bottom corner, you get the little scene that this opens up into, which we will see momentarily and in, a bo in the box. You just get a little bit of some of the pieces that um, you get, as well as what it looks like with the numbering system and everything. So most of the other, some of the other minifigures are a surprise. So if you haven't seen this before, enjoy as I open all of these days at once. So let's crack into it. All right, so here is the advent calendar all open and the numbers are totally out of order, but you do also get this nice floor area. So that is really cool. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So number one, we have Harry Potter. Here is Lego Harry. This is inspired from year one when he first opens up his gift and gets his little Harry sweater from Mrs. Weasley. Very cute. People, were, I think, were really excited to see this Harry Potter in this advent calendar. So a nice little exclusive sweater print for Harry. On to number two. And it looks like we get a little Hogwarts Express. We have a very cute little mini build of the Hogwarts Express. I'm assuming this is just like a little toy train. So, kind of interesting. It's a Christmas tree. We got a pair of little Christmas trees. They look like snow-covered Christmas trees. The build is a little weird for these guys. All right, moving on to number four. A fancier Christmas tree. Oh, that's the other one. We have a big Christmas tree. A little bit nicer, maybe the grand Christmas tree. This one's a little bit better. Okay, moving on to number five. A Gryffindor flag. And here is the Gryffindor flag. I like these, I like these little house banners and I really like that gold piece. Moving on to number six. McGonagall. And here is McGonagall. I believe that she is the same minifigure from the um, Great Hall set, of which I don't have. So she's a brand new minifigure to me. A fun one to include. She's got a really nice robe print. So we have McGonagall. Moving on to number seven. A table. All right, here's the table. It's a nice build, um, really good if you don't have the Great Hall set and kind of want to create a Great Hall scene with some of the Lego Harry Potter students. I like it, it's not bad. It comes with two goblets. I wish that these were studs though so that the figures would stay on it. Moving on to number eight. A chicken. All right, so you got this chicken and this plate that it doesn't really stay on, but that's actually a really cool piece. It's perhaps it's a turkey, but it looks really cool. It's got two drumstick pieces, a very neat little piece, and a silver plate, as well as three little, I always think of them as like ice creams, but I'm not sure. They can be whatever you want, three of those. Okay, moving on to day nine. We get the Slytherin flag. All right, it looks pretty good. I personally think that these pennants are really cool. Let's see, next is day 10. We get Ron in his sweater, yay. All right, and here is little Ron in his sweater that Mrs. Weasley made him. Very cute addition, matches Harry. Perfect for the advent calendar. Moving on to day 11. And we get another table, this time with a candle. Here is the other table built with the little candle and the candle holder. 
Kind of an interesting look, but same table. Okay, let's move on to day 12. Uh, more food. So you get this really cute uh, little cake piece or pie piece with a croissant and some cookies and a couple of goblets and a silver plate to adorn um, one of your tables. So let's move on now to day 13. And we got the Ravenclaw flag. All right, here is the Ravenclaw flag, my personal favorite. So let's move on to day 14. Hermione. And here we have Hermione with a really nice scarf piece over her robes and a different outfit that we have seen before. Let's move on to day 15. We have a little snowman. It is a really cute build, this little snowman. I really like that scarf piece, but it would have been even better if they made a scarf that was one of the Hogwarts house colors. So orange is not even a color. If they had printed it in like a red or a green or a blue or a yellow, that totally would have fit. But cute nonetheless, makes a little good outdoor piece. So let's move on to the next day, which I believe is day 16. Uh, um, chess set, yay. Here is the little chess set, which is actually kind of life-size to um, the students. I think that they had one of these in the Great Hall during Christmas that they could play with, and obviously it's magic. But really cool little mini build. I really do like this one. It looks very cool overall. Okay, and on to day 17. Yay, Hufflepuff. Alrighty, Hufflepuff flag looking good, though I wish they had a a nice shiny color like the silver or the gold, but Hufflepuff is just black and yellow. So. Okay, moving on to day 18. Flitwick. Alrighty, and here is Flitwick, and he is obviously not a new character if you got the Lego Harry Potter minifigure series Flitwick, um, but he does have a new outfit, so that is really cool. Oops, there he goes. Um, weird note, he came with three bow ties, so in case you lose the first two, you have an extra. Nice silver little vest though, I like it. Okay, moving on to day 19. We have a fireplace. Here's the fireplace and I love what they did. Um, really nice little ornamental pieces right here. And then the wreath is so cute, makes it very Christmassy. I really like this. I think it was a very, very cute mini build. All right, on to day 20. And we get a platform of some kind. Alrighty, we get a really nice pedestal with all of the houses on it. I really like this build. And I think something goes on top. We'll have to see. Moving on to day 21. Haha. -ha. Right, we got the statue guy that goes on it. And I'm not sure what exactly he is holding. He also comes with this strange piece. So if anybody has any idea, let me know. Mount here and becomes like a statue that's outside the Great Hall. And I think that that is pretty cool. It looks really neat. So let's move on to day 22. Uh, presents, yay. All right, and you actually get presents for each house. So the Ravenclaw one and the Gryffindor one are the same. They even have little letters on top. Very cute build. They definitely look like presents from the side. And then Slytherin's present and Hufflepuff's present. So very cool, you can put those under the trees. So let's move on to day 23. And we get, I almost called him Gandalf. We get Dumbledore. All right, here is Dumbledore. This is Dumbledore from years one and two with the old Dumbledore actor. I think specifically this one is from year one with his long hair and long beard. And you see the other Dumbledore has a much different look, but very cool. I believe he also came in the Great Hall set, so might not be new for some of you. Let's go to the very last one, day 24. And it looks like Harry's trunk and school supplies and luggage. All right, so we get Harry's trunk and his Al Hedwig along with a bar of chocolate. We get some wands for Harry, which everybody has a ton of. We get a Hogwarts acceptance letter, which is really cool. It's a fully, fully written texture tile. So that is a really cool and you can even read it. Um, that's a super cool piece. And then you also get a book with what looks like the Wingardium Liviosa spell. 
Um, I might have that upside down now that I'm looking at it. It might be this way. Um, so very cool. You get some accessories for Harry. Um, so let's go ahead and put everything, line everything up and uh, kind of see what the scene looks like all together. Alrighty guys. So here is all of the advent calendar put kind of on its little base scene. Very cute little Christmas scene with the snow outside. Um, some of the Christmas trees and the snowman and Harry's belongings and playing chess. And then inside we've got the, the flags and the statue and then the big Christmas tree with the gifts and the fireplace that makes it warm and cozy, the professors and the tables. And I think overall it was a pretty good selection. Wish we did get a really exclusive minifigure. We did not get an exclusive character in this, but we did get some exclusive outfits, which is always nice. Um, would have liked to see more characters, but alas, they have to, it can't be all minifigures. So I think they did a pretty good job overall for their first calendar um, and I'm really excited to have it and I think it'll make a great great display for uh, Christmas so anyways guys let me know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching bye guys